Good morning guys. Today I take a look at a standard J1772 charger to use for my Model 3. Alright, so today I want to show you guys this 32 amp J1772 standard EV charger. Uh, I, uh, this is not a product sponsorship in any way. I purchased this with my own money. Just bought it off of uh, off eBay. Basically, I went shopping for the lowest priced uh, J1772 charger that was that would charge at 32 amps, and I did that because uh, it this primarily this charger is being bought uh, or was bought for a short range EV that we're acquiring within the next couple of weeks, but. Uh, in, I, I wanted a charger that would also charge the Model 3 at the 32 amps that it will accept. So I hunted around, and this was the lowest price charger I could find that is uh, 240, 32 amp, and also has a NEMA 1450 plug at the end. And uh, that's important because I have a NEMA 1450 uh, outlet in my garage, and I've been plugging my, my included... Uh, Tesla charger uh, charging cord into that outlet. Now, um, it I've been using it and that charger works fine, uh, but I wanted to get something that would charge at 32 amps because uh, it I this charger again is primarily for the short range EV that we're obtaining, but also with my car I, I've been a little bit concerned ever since I purchased the Model 3. What if I have an issue with the Tesla charge cord? It's like $320 for another charge cord, so do I buy a spare just in case? What do I do? Well, so this charger can work either with the, uh, the new EV that we're getting or the new to us used EV that we're getting and with my car by way of this adapter. Uh, when I purchased my Model 3, it came with this adapter that goes from uh, the, the Tesla male end to a uh, J1772 female end to be able to use standard chargers like this. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this and show you guys. So let's go ahead and pull this off. It says made in China. Anything low cost is made in China. So we have the basic user guide. I already went through this, uh, this guide earlier. So uh, it's in um, multiple languages. So here's the uh, Here's the charger kit. So there's our NEMA 1450 uh, plug. It's 50 amp at 250 volts uh, is rated there. So this plugs onto the Tesla adapter to plug it into the car to charge. The overall quality of the wire and the, the connectors looks quite good and uh, very similar uh, uh, little relay box to, uh, to what the Tesla charge cord is. So let's go ahead and plug it in, open the charge port door and uh, try it out. Now for me, I have, uh, I got this RV extension cord which is um, uh, it's good for uh, 50 amps at uh, the 240, uh, 240 volts. I got this on Amazon, and uh, this runs to my outlet in the house. Uh, this way I can move it around. I never leave it outside. This is always inside, but the outlet that I have is way at the back of the garage, and so I wanted to have an outlet that was near the underside of the door so I can just pass cords underneath the door if need be. So this is what we're going to plug into. So we'll go ahead and plug the charger in there. So we've got it coming on here. So you can see the, uh, the digital display there, zero amps. And it even gives the temperature 71.8 degrees Fahrenheit and that it is set to charge at 32 amps. We've got 231.4 volts going in. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, here we go. So the moment of truth here. Again, <clears throat> connect the adapter and we'll plug it in. 
I heard the charger relays click in and there's our pulsing green <clears throat> so see so you, you can see the uh, the amps climbing there 8.6 8.7 So 33 amps, you can see 72.6 degrees Fahrenheit, there's the charge timer, how many kilowatt hours, and again the voltage and amperage. So it seems to be working pretty well, and um, it has a, uh, a very large, very long cord here. Uh, I, did not, uh, I did not see uh, the, um, the specs on how long the cord is, but uh, it is plenty long. The uh, this box is not uh, it's not waterproof. It is mildly water resistant, so uh, the charge box should be kept uh, in an area that is uh, is dry. But uh, there's plenty of cord here to uh, to run the uh, the charge cable pretty much anywhere you would need to. So overall, uh, it's working fine. I did not try this before this video. This is just you're seeing the the first the first test of it so let's go ahead and go into the app and see uh, yep it's it says 32 amps this says 33 there might be an amp of, of loss between the two but uh, so let's show you the screen here so let's see we'll change move the limit up there So charging at 31 miles per hour and uh, 237 volts, 32 amps is what the car is reading going in. So pretty much identical to the Tesla charger. So I'd say overall, uh, I'm very, very happy with this, this charger. Uh, I, in looking around, I know you get what you pay for. And I mentioned before that this was the, the cheapest 32 amp 240 charger that I could find. Uh, but I, I didn't want to spend a fortune. The reviews were quite good on it. You guys can research it for yourselves. But for those of you that are curious, if you can charge a Model 3 on a non-Tesla charger, the answer is yes, it charges just fine. I would say the only real negative is on the Tesla charger, there's a, a thumb button that you can click to pop the charge port open, and this doesn't have that. So you'd need to open the charge port by my, the phone app, uh, you're supposed to be able to tap the door to get it to open. Mine has never, that's never worked on mine. So, um, so I just need to open it, open the charge port door by the phone app or from the screen. But I think I'm going to use this charger exclusively for the next couple weeks until the other EV shows up just to, to get a feel for how, how it's going to work long term. I'm also going to make a, um, uh, I'm going to make a, a sort of a, a cord, um, retention little item around the corner uh, on the uh, the left corner of my garage there so that this can be outside but out of the elements so I'll go ahead and do that and uh, yeah overall I'm pretty happy with it uh, it'll be interesting to have two EVs in the driveway and uh, we as a family could theoretically be completely fossil fuel free at that point for transportation we do still have my wife's uh, Ford Fusion great great car and she's out and about right now in the BMW convertible, but that car gets actually not much use, a few thousand miles a year. Uh, that's just our fun weekend car. So uh, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be nice to be, uh, be able to do pretty much all of our normal errand running uh, on electric only and be able to charge both cars simultaneously. So thanks a lot for tuning in. I know this is just a basic, simple video. Uh, I didn't go all that in depth on it, but um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and especially over the next couple weeks as I use this charger as my primary charger for the Model 3 uh, on a daily basis. So thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.